Hey everyone, Lita here. How are you? You are on Lita the Divine Channel. And we are coming in today a little bit. Um, well, I'm actually feeling a little bit right at home with staying at home. I know there's a lot going on out there and people are flipping the F out. And so it's one of those things where it's really about a perspective of how we're gonna handle this, right? And always just try and find the positive side to everything. And I think um, I'm used to being home and I'm used to entertaining myself at home. Um, I paint, I, you know, do my daily reading, you know, my, my studying that I like to do for myself. And then of course, you know, you squeeze in however else you have to manage with your daily duties around the house, whether you're a guy or girl, everyone's got them or some have kids and some are out there running their businesses. And that's one of the interesting things about it is that um, if you could find a way to run a business, um, you know, on your own, I, I just think that if there was ever a gander that you thought about it, I think I caught myself saying gander a lot of times, you guys. I don't even know what the hell really that word means. I think it just sounds fun, say. <laughs> it's a little bit of fun, say. Gander. Take a chance at doing your own business. Um, I've been in business for myself for so long, and by hands down, I just find the greatest pleasure out of it. It could be the most stressful, yes, of course, but what job doesn't have stress? You know what I mean? And then if you really think of it as a job, is it really a job? No, it's more of a passion. You know, it's um, you being able to make your decision of when, you know, what hours you're working and, you know, that hustle that you're going to get on for yourself and you're in charge of that and you see the rewards um, with the, what you put out, you know, basically. And that goes hand in hand with what we do and put out in life, right? If we go around being like the biggest assholes out there ever, then, you know, what kind of rewards are you going to reap from that? Not that much, right? You're just a really big asshole. But then if you go around and actually make that effort to be kind to other people, um, you know, and, and show compassion and understand that there are a lot of emotions going on in people's minds right now and have that compassion for that person, then, you know, you're going to reap rewards of finding compassion in another group of people when you're needing it. And so that's just kind of like some things, you know, I've noticed people starting to really act different, you know, and it's, uh, it's, it's a fear-based illness, I feel, you know, and that goes with anything else that connects to our spirituality. And, you know, I've dealt with my chronic pain and fatigue and everything that comes with, you know, what they say, what it is, and that I refuse to believe that that's um, something that is not curable or whatnot, you know, which is fibromyalgia. And I don't know if people are aware of that, that that's out there. Um, but it is something that, you know, um, a lot of people deal with. And really, what does it come down to is basically the doctors don't know where to pinpoint out your problem. It is um, just an unknown source. And so when you go into the spirituality side of things, um, you know, people have informed me that it's more of blockages, you know, that were in the body from things that were traumatizing in life that kind of like poison the DNA or, you know, causes that inside your body and you're not clean. And I'm not meaning like you're not clean, you know, everyone's clean, but I mean like there is a lot of toxicity inside and these poisons of what we eat and, you know, just goes on and on and it's just like the biggest science project I've ever done in my whole life. And I take some pride in some projects that I've done and I've taken on. So getting to know myself and all of that is very interesting and that is like totally a big old rant coming back to point one again. A lot going on right now. Find some ways to entertain yourself when you're at home. Um, because you can get bored very quickly and you'll definitely probably watch every movie that's on Netflix that's out there. I mean, I, prom I think I'm going on round two on some of them. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, learn about yourself. You know, learn how to get healthier and what it is that we could do to help humanity and other people and da 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 da, -da. Okay, and that's four minutes deep. I think I might delete this one. I don't know, but it's going to be as spiritual as fuck. So, it's going to be spiritual as vegetables. Wasn't supposed to say the bad word, but 
I'm trying to switch up on it and I think I'm just going on a little bit of a crazy run. Yeah, I'm really wound up. Hmm. I think talking about the energy of the other people from what I got out in the stores was really what got me going. Hmm. Well, anyways, something to think about. Again, big science project, right? Always thinking about that kind of stuff, especially with what's going on in the world today and staying positive. So for our spiritual as physical draw that we came up with here today is things get harder before you level up. Know that. Dang, maybe that big old rant was all about that. Again, things get harder before you level up. Know that. So, kind of, is that what they talk about? The, the calm before the storm? The calm before the storm when it comes and it's when it hits, it hits, right? Whew. And so, maybe that's a lot what people are going through right now. You know, a lot of that upped up energy. Maybe that's what I was picking up since we pulled up the draw. I like swooped in that energy to that. And that's what came out. Okay, so you're working hard and making good life choices. And then out of nowhere, a shit storm starts and you can't figure out why. It's like mountain climbers getting to the peak. It's steeper and the weather is worse up there. But if they were to give up or spend time crying about why it's so hard, no one would ever get to the top of Everest. Most of us would rather chop off a hand than climb a snow covered mountain, but it's still a great metaphor for making shit happen. So message for the day, all that revved up energy, blah, blah, blah with what's going on. Boom, pulled it out of the pile that is left and that is the message for today. We'll be posting later on um, this evening and please come check me out more often. Subscribe, ring the bell and like the video. Talk to you soon.